There are, are a lot of superlatives being used here to describe the debate. You mentioned Super Bowl of politics, also the clash of the political titans. But one thing is true for both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. This is simply the most important job interview of their lives, and it's one that could be seen by as many as 100 million people. This is the big bout. This is Ali Frazier or Ali Foreman. It's, it's a biggie. It's not hyperbole. This could be the most important moment in campaign 2016. The first time Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton come face to face. The first time American voters will get to judge them side by side. These debates are about, are about so much more than somebody's position on the issues. Voters want to take the measure of the person. Does, they, does the person have the right stuff, the dignity, the courage, uh, how you react under pressure. Both were out of sight yesterday to prepare for their confrontation, but both found the time to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Trump released a picture of the meeting and pointedly said the two discussed the effectiveness of the security wall Israel erected to protect its settlements. For Clinton, the big concern is which Donald Trump turns up tonight. The acerbic name caller of the Republican primary debates or the calmer teleprompter reading Trump of recent days. We don't know whether Trump is going to show up to try to have a serious discussion of the issues or whether he's going to bully. My advice I have for him, uh, since he's been my friend for 28 years, is to be himself. <laughs> I think what the American people on Monday night are entitled to is Donald Trump being who he is. Clearly, everyone has advice for the candidates, and while there's been a lot of strategizing about everything from what to wear, how to shake hands, and what kind of podium is advantageous, image consultant Ruth Sherman told me it's something more intangible. So likability is the key thing? It's huge. It's huge, and people don't want to hear that. But it's the truth, and it's always been the truth. But there are a lot of factors to likability, like the tone of their voices, shrill or calm. It's like so much else he says. It's not grounded in fact. She talks about people like they're objects, not human beings. And who connects more effectively with the viewer? The more each one of these candidates can demonstrate, can show, through the way they present themselves, that they get the average person's dilemmas and problems and feel their pain, the more likely they are to connect and the more likely they are to persuade that person to fill in that oval for them. And speaking of connecting, the, this is the 56th anniversary of the Kennedy-Nixon debates, the first ones that were ever televised. Interestingly, people who watched the debate on television thought that John Kennedy won, but those who listened to it on the radio gave it to Nixon. Reporting live at Hofstra University, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.